Follow all Moser's news on his website, www.mosiers.com. And on his Facebook Moser's and Instagram Moser's 13 page 2. For daily exclusive publications. Hello and welcome on Moser for this new montage and video. The today topic is the last part of the scene memory. The up and motion sequence. Sit all along the video because on the bonus I will talk to you about things. To do not make mistake on sub screen on the command or part level. If you are not already a Moisture YouTube follower, please click on subscribe and click on the bell to be informed when I release a new video. If you like that video content, please press on like. And if you want to support the channel for the free video I release for you on YouTube, please use the super thanks bottom right of the video. For this video, I've chosen the chart comp performance and reworked it. Let's go to scene memory. I've activated the ARP FX and the motion sequencer FX. I've got the volume control on my part. Here I've assigned an arpeggio. So what can we do with the first setting? As reminder, we still have access to the common two. The first setting I can work individually on the part is the swing. It humanizes the arpeggio playing, which by default is perfect, falling right on the beat. With swing, you can change the rendering a little, humanize it. I'm going to set the unit multiply back to its basic value, otherwise you'll find my changes hard to hear, and after, I'll explain what it is. As you've heard, if you go a little too hard, it can change the arpeggio restitution and erroneously. So be careful to not going too far. The second, which you've already heard a little bit about, is the famous unit multiply, which lets you change the arpeggio speed restitution without changing the performance tempo. At 100%, I'm on my normal speed, as you've heard. If I go to 200%, I go two times slowly. And if I go to 50%, it go twice fast. This is available for every scene, and can be changed even from one scene to another, with the same arpeggio. We can also change note duration, as we've seen in the arpeggio individual video. For that, I work on gate time, but first I'm going to set my unit multiply back to 100%. As I often remind you, when you go for the plus, here there's minor change. It depends on the sound type, so I'm going to try for minus here. As I explained in the arpeggio individual video, it depends on the sound, on arpeggio type. As you can see, we've actually got an arpeggio transformation. It really does depend on the instrument and the arpeggio type. We can also manage velocity like this. If you're working with an FM part, velocity changing the sound rendering, the louder you play, the more intensive it will sound. Here we're on ANX, not that it's unintensive, but it's a little less sensitive. These are the settings dedicated to arpeggios, we're going to switch to motion sequence. I'm going to stop the arpeggios, so you understand what's going on, and reset my volume to zero. The motion sequence settings are here on page 2. 
I'd made a motion sequence assigned to the volume. If I change my volume, you've heard that it affects my rendering. I can work on amplitude, as example, I'll set it to 100. From one scene to the next, it changes, so we can make this motion sequence a little less strong. We can work on the shape. More or less abrupt. We can work on the smooth, the transitions between steps, to make it a little less aggressive. We'll have a kind of tremolo that's a little more sympathetic. Or not, and the random you'll see will that it change our motion sequence. You've heard, random makes the steps bigger, shorter, more spaced out, less spaced out in time, so it can also be good to work with this parameter. You can do all this for each scene, for each arp variation, and for each motion sequence. You can, of course, work both together. Would you like to take in hand? Learn or improve your knowledge of your Yamaha synthesizer or stage keyboard? Book your Moesu Masterclass now. Your private session is conducted online through Zoom. Take all benefit of Joel expertise for all these topics. It's available for users all over the world through Music Hackspace platform in English or in French. It's easy. Select your date and time from the Moesu calendar available slots on your time zone. Choose your topic and after your online personal meeting, you can download your session video to review it, as many any time you need. And now, that's the bonus time. For this bonus, I cut the arpeggios, I cut the motion sequence, I turned up the volume. So I put myself in selected part here on the subscreen, and we have the common and our part. That's why I only took one part. Be careful when making settings adjustment to not get the wrong level. See here, the filter is here. Depending on what you're doing, you take the first setting. Ah oh well, I'm going to work on filter, I'm going to modify it. If there are several parts here, when I move the filter value, it will affect all the parts in the same way. You have to be very careful with this, it's very useful if you're making a super pad, or a super lead by mixing different sounds. ANX, FMX, AWM2, with each other, or staying in the same sound engine, or just mixing several. It might be a good idea, rather than doing it on each part, to have a common setting like this for example on our filter, on our amplitude on our AEG. If we're working with really different parts, we need to go to the part level, and if we want to adjust the filter, we'll go here. We're going to adjust our filter here, for each performance part independently. This is a mistake that can be made quite easily, so always take a look carefully when working with the subscreen. When you work on the central screen, you have the advantage of having the colors. Here you can see that I'm on ANX. On the AWM2 I'll be in yellow, on the FMX it'll be green, and when we're on the common level we're in gray. You'll see that this is not the usual part screen. As you can see, filter part screen is not the same. 
On the subscreen, which is a quick editing screen, it can sometimes be misleading. It's not that it's not well done, just you need to pay attention, obviously to the level you're on, depending on what you have to do. This is video ending. I hope you have liked it. I hope you have find it interesting. As a reminder, you can book your Moesio Masterclass directly on the Music Arcspace platform. See you soon for one of our Moesio videos. Bye. Would you like to discover, learn, or improve your knowledge of your Yamaha synthesizer or stage keyboard? Book your Moesers master class now. Your private session is conducted online through Zoom. Take all benefit of Moesers expertise, Yamaha synthesizers and stage keyboard specialist and consultant for Yamaha Music Europe and France. As member of international Yamaha Tech Talk live team, music hackspace instructor and host of the Camelot Pro Sessions, Joel take care of your experience level. Whether you're a beginner or a skilled user, get the most out of your Yamaha synthesizer, stage keyboard, John Mela software suite or Camelot Pro. Book your session for your personal Moesers one-to-one session. It's available for users all over the world through Music Hackspace platform. It's easy. Select your date and time from the Moesers calendar available slots on your time zone. Thank you for watching this Moesers video. Do not forget to click on like, subscribe and click on the bell to be informed when a new video is online. Do not hesitate to write a comment or ask a question. See you soon, bye!